Hello students. In this video, we are going to discuss 4.20 and 4.21 from laws of motion. A batsman deflects a ball by an angle of 45 degrees without changing its initial speed which is equal to 54 kilometers per hour. What is the impulse imported to the ball? Mass of the ball is 0 0.15 kilogram. Here the situation will be like this. Assume that this is the bat and uh, a ball is traveling like this with velocity v1 bar and it is deflected like this with velocity v2 bar and angle between them is 45 degrees. Here the magnitude of their speeds are same that is V1 bar is equal to V2 bar that is equal to 54 kilometers per hour that is also nothing but 15 meter per second. Now, to find out the impulse, we have change in momentum. Impulse is equal to change in momentum. So, first of all, we will write change in velocity. That is equal to change in velocity of the ball. That is equal to final velocity minus of initial velocity. Velocity of the ball V bar is equal to V2 bar minus of minus V1 bar. That is finally V2 bar plus v1 bar this one will acts along this now from the parallelogram law of vector addition v is equal to square root of v1 square plus v2 square plus 2v1 v2 cos of 45 degrees that is equal to 15 square plus 15 square plus 2 times of 15 into 15 cos of 45 is numbered 1 by root 2 whole square. After simplifying this one we will get 27.72 meter per second. Now The impulse imported to the ball. Impulse imported to the ball is equal to mass of the ball into change in velocity of the ball. Raise so, mass of the ball is 0 0.15 kilogram and change in velocity is 27.72 meters per second that is equal to 4.16 kilogram meter per second. So this impulse will act along V bar and the impulse is directed along the 
bisector of the initial and final velocities. Coming to four point one two. A stone of mass 0.25 kg tied to the end of a string is wired round in a circle of radius 1.5 meter with a speed of 40 revolutions per minute in a horizontal plane. What is the tension in the string? What is the maximum speed with which the stone can be wired around if the string can withstand maximum tension of 200 newton here two sub questions are there one is we need to find out the tension whenever it is revolving with 40 revolutions per minute and we need to find out the maximum speed if the maximum tension is 200 newton the given values are the mass of the stone is 0 0.25 kilogram and the radius is equal to 1.5 meter and the frequency is given as 40 revolutions per minute that is equal to from this we can write omega is equal to 2 pi into frequency that is 2 pi times of 40 divided by 60 radian per second. Now, tension in the string. Is equal to, we have M R omega square that is 0 0.25 into 1.5 into 2 pi into 40 divided by 60 whole square. After simplification, we will get 6.6 .6 newton. This is tension in the string T. Now, V maximum we want. The second case T maximum is equal to 200 Newton is given. So, this T maximum can be, we can write M R omega square or we can write this is M V square by R. So, M V maximum square divided by R we can write. So, from this formula, V maximum square is equal to R into T maximum divided by mass of the stone. So, R value is nothing but we have 1.5. T maximum is 200 divided by mass of the stone is 0 0.25. If we simplify, we will get 1200 that is V maximum square. And uh, from this V maximum is equal to we will get square root of 1200 that is equal to 34.6 meter per second. So, these are the solutions of 4.20 and 4.21. Thank you.